look at that. Look how beautiful that is. All right, so we just finished here at the 24 Hour Fitness. It is the day before the Big Bear Marathon. If you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, I've been uploading weekly videos of me training for the Big Bear Marathon. Uh, I think this is like week 13 or 14 and tomorrow is the day. So all of the work that we put in these past 13, 14 weeks comes down to tomorrow, but we're talking about today. So today I went to the gym just to stretch and roll out. We're headed to Ventura for a 20 to 30 minute shakeout run with almost everything on, almost all the gear. Speaking of gear, I got some gloves yesterday and then I got some arm sleeves. So I've never used arm sleeves before, but it's gonna be really cold out there. And I wanted to test these out and I'm, I'm gonna wear these uh, to keep my arms warm because I'm gonna be wearing a singlet, a racing singlet like this. And then I got my sprint hat here, my Oakley's knockoffs. <coughs> um but yeah we're headed to ventura so we can do a 20 to 30 minute shakeout run shake out the legs and get ready for tomorrow i'll see you guys on the run all right 30 minute shakeout run right now uh it's good that i'm testing out the gloves beforehand because i'm gonna be holding my phone and recording video so i want to make sure i got that down before the actual race so i'm not panicking so here we go all right we are on the way to the chiropractor uh before that we were at the studio we were downloading music onto my phone because i was reading one of the forums saying that there's not really a good connection over there so i downloaded everything from the internet have it stored in my library so there's no so there won't be any connection issues. I wanna make sure I'm prepared and don't have any surprises. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a little bit, but trying to take all the measures that I can. So I'm ready for the race. Shout out to Dr. Goodman. He's gonna get me right before the race. And then, well, actually, I'll just see you guys at the chiropractor. Oh. And you kept it good? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was uh, yeah. one mile off, one mile on, so. So out of shape. Yeah, eight minutes pace off and then seven on. All right, doctor, what is this? This is the Halo PEMF, pulse electromagnetic frequency. So it's gonna open up your red blood cells and just cause a lot of recovery. They have different settings, so we're gonna put it on a performance setting today. Nice. Get you ready for your race. Yes, sir. Here to get some gels all right we got the goodies everything that i need for the race i'm gonna go through everything at the airbnb uh, i'm gonna basically lay out everything that i am gonna be using for the race so it is time to carb load i'm gonna get some pancakes at the probably the best pancake spot breakfast spot in the 805 so far that i've been to other than two trees this place is called cc's shout out to jose for uh showing me the spot let's go carb load here we are best breakfast spot in the 805 other than two trees all right what up? how you feeling how you feeling getting ready this man's this man's insane. It's the, it's the morning before. I know. The morning this, before. This man's know. gonna go to work. Gonna get off at what, like 10, like 10 around there. Head straight to the Airbnb. But we're good. We're good. We're gonna warm up with a light tan before we run the marathon. Crazy, huh? Jeremy Sue? Is that what he said? I don't know. It's on um, green tea.
everyone that has seen my other video on, I think it was the half marathon that I did. Oh, actually, it was the LA marathon. My pre-race meal is pho. Of course, I gotta get it for this marathon. And uh, about a car load, eat this, go back to the Airbnb, and I'll give you guys a tour of the Airbnb. Whew. All right, we finally, finally got to the Airbnb. I made some content right now, made some reels, and then uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the Airbnb because that's what I always do whenever I go to an Airbnb. So walk in the front door, we got the living room area over here. Look at that ginormous flat screen TV. Oh, look at it. We're nice and festive for the holidays. A beautiful table. And then uh, we got some, two, we got two couches for lounging and uh, some beautiful paintings over here. And then uh, right here, we got the setup. We got the MacBook, 2020 MacBook. And then uh, we got all of our race stuff laid out because we took a photo, a lamp. And then uh, here's the laundry mat right here. If you can draw a square just like that. There's the laundry mat. Oh, snap, we got the kitchen over here. We got this nice and robust microwave right here. And then uh, shout out to Grocery Outlet, not sponsored, but probably one of the best grocery stores out there. Sink, and then uh, we got this fridge and freezer combo. Check this out, filter status, replace. Oh, actually it said that earlier. Yeah, it's not even working. All right, what do we got in here? I actually haven't opened the freezer. Uh, we got some nice ice cubes. What's in here? Ah, open up, come on. Ugh. Yeah, that'll, oh, I'm actually moving the fridge. All right, well, at least we know it's sealed. Uh, we got some water, some electrolytes for them electrolytes. We got some coffee for the morning. And then uh, some pancakes from earlier today. We're gonna save those. Let's go into the to the bedroom there. Can't go through there. Always gotta listen to the signs. All right, moving along. What do you guys think so far? Give it a rating, just from this side. No, I'm just kidding, don't, yeah. Uh, locked, locked, restroom in here. Honestly, not bad. Shower is redone. There's a hidden camera right there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and a two-way glass right here. Very cool. Uh, let's move on to, we got the thermostat right here. Begin each day with a grateful heart. And then uh, we got the two-bed situation over here. Another two-way glass right here. And then uh, some nice closet space. Probably use that for another sleeping area if you want. And then, uh, yeah, nice beds here. Nice little lamp. We can't check the view right now because it's pretty dark out. Let's go to the master bedroom, will we? Shall we? We've got the master bedroom. Look at this. Look at this chair, just chilling right here. It's cool as a cucumber. Oh, you know, we got the Purell next to the bed. Oh my goodness, that's what a setup right there. Uh, hello, sunshine. We got another camera right here. I always love being spied on. And then uh, we got another two-way mirror. That's number three for the day. Open this up. We got a closet, and, um, probably an, a peephole um, to see next door. All right, we'll close that up. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Um, yeah, well, this has been the video before the race, and I'm gonna make one during and after the race. We got Raphael coming, and then we got Johnny coming as well tonight. Johnny is here 
made it to the Airbnb and uh, funny story, we met on a trail, trail running, and then uh, he ended up signing up for the marathon after. Like, well, how, when did you sign up for the marathon? Dude, like three weeks ago. Shit. Yeah. About to die. <laughs> Yeah, but we're about to knock out and get some sleep. And then uh, Raphael should be here like in 30 minutes to an hour. But we need to get us to sleep. What time is it right now? It's uh, 9.54. She. 9.54, just arrived. That gives us exactly two minutes of sleep. <laughs> two minutes later. The next day. Rise and shine, boys. Rise and shine. All right, it is 2.50 in the morning. Uh, we have to probably be out of here at 3.10. We got a 20 minute drive to the bus pickup. And then we got an hour shuttle to the, the, to the start. And uh, <laughs> funny thing about last night. <laughs> Tonight, you mean? I mean, like, funny thing about like two hours ago. <laughs> there's we, so I'll show you guys when we leave. But there's train tracks just outside of our house, and uh, <laughs> the train kept waking us up, so we didn't get that good sleep. So uh, you might be setting a new record of running a full marathon on two minutes of sleep. <laughs> We're gonna set a PR on sleep. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting our uh, everything ready. And uh, we're gonna head to the bus pickup. How are you feeling? The Fortnite bus. I feel good, just to sleep, man. Where we landing, boys? <laughs> Tomato down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. What time is it right now? I think it's like 3.45. Made it to the bus pickup. We got an hour shuttle to the start. Oh, all right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all these people. Hey, ah, ah. So when we started, I think the line was around there, but now it's like all the way back here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir. Watch your step. Oh shit, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do a quick uh, drop off. Oh, here we are. Yeah. All right, cool. We got the drop off, and then uh, last minute, last minute dookie, and then uh, we'll get started. Good luck. Good luck. BQ. BQ, let's go. I probably won't be filming a lot because uh, I'm gonna be locked in, but I'll try. I'll try and update you guys, but. Uh, no promises. Every five minutes, every five miles. <laughs> hey! If you are from outside the state of California, make some noise. Woo! If you are from California, make some noise. Yes, sir. Let's go. Ready or what? Wee wee wee. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit, here we go again. Go. Here we go again.
finished the marathon. It was a whole journey within itself. We got some ups, some downs, literally and metaphorically. Uh, we finished with a 309. Johnny got a 308. Freaking killed it. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, um, I'll pull up the splits right now. And uh, one thing that happened to me was that mile, it was like mile 23. So when I started getting, a, I got a, a side stitch. We finished, we got into 310. We're waiting for Rafael. I think he's at mile 23 right now. I need a beer. I'm gonna get fucked up. Dude, my toes are bleeding. Like, who knows what the fuck Hey, should we do a uh, foot reveal? Uh, yeah, later. Feet picks? Alright, All right, we're here at the finish right now. Rafael's about to finish. I'm gonna record him. We want to blow it. Let's go! Let's go! I'm gonna celebrate you guys at 26.2. Get your medal, get your medal. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Welcome to the finish line. In a race where everyone holds their own truth, the finish line is always in the bottom of the world. Yes, sir! 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 Yes, Look at everyone, the post-marathon walk. <laughs> Cheers. 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 We're back to the Airbnb. Johnny took off his socks, as you can see. <laughs> Fucking gross. Intense. Uh, I'm probably gonna blur it out because you have to subscribe to the OnlyFans for that, so. Um, it's only fair that I take off my socks now. <laughs> oh, this one's sliding off pretty good. Aw, oh, dude. I got some fucking 9 out of 10 right now, dude. I told you. I, I, this one is... Oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, shit. It's the weirdest looking blister on your toenail. Yeah, right there, dude. That's fucking weird. It looks like a wart. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. It's actually not that bad. Overall, pretty successful. Um, got under 310, which was the goal. When I noticed that three wasn't the goal, uh, I was like, just aim for under three, 310. Freaking did it. So... Oh, yeah. Fucking Raphael freaking killed it. First mar marathon. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> Johnny freaking killed it. Uh, 308. Jeez. Fucking animal, dude. Uh, we're not done yet. We got another one in a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Alright, it is currently... What time is it right now? 639 we're at 24 hour fitness and uh i want to see where my bench is at i'm gonna attempt to squat and deadlift but uh, i don't think i'll be able to but the most the lift that i'm most curious about is uh bench well we're gonna try and bench two plates all right we're here at 24 hour fitness we're squatting right now and we're gonna see how much we can squat uh i don't think it's gonna be a lot but we're gonna try our best. 315 on the bar. Let's see if we can do this after running a 309 marathon.
right, I hope you guys enjoyed the race recap for the Big Bear Marathon. I learned a lot from this race and one thing that I learned was that during all of my training runs, I would drink water every mile. And this race, the aid stations were two to three miles apart. And that's when I would drink water. So I believe that's what caused my side stitch because I haven't experienced side stitches at all during all of my running since I came back from running two years ago. So that was kind of a, that kind of threw me off. But we got under 310 and uh, the goal was three minutes flat. But you know what? We learned from this and we're going to use it for the next race. So uh, thank you guys for following along the journey. And a shout out to Raphael, Jay, and Johnny for doing the marathon as well. That was super dope to have a bunch of friends. And it's always better with friends. So I appreciate you guys if you guys are watching. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace.